What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and thank you again for watching. So today we're going to be going over a neat tip that I recently learned on how to align your steering wheel into the proper position. So I don't know if it's happened to you guys, but it happens to us often where before off-roading our steering wheel is as it should be and then after if we hit a couple rocks it'll either be veered to the left or veered to the right. So today we're going to be going underneath the Jeep and showing you guys how to align your steering. So guys, this is what my steering wheel looks like. It hasn't been um, aligned using the tip that we are gonna be showing you in the video yet. So I wanted to give you guys a clear look at it is definitely off to the left. And so this we recommend doing as a two person job. So grab a buddy, grab a family member. If you don't have someone else to help you, it's completely fine. You can do it one person, but it is just gonna be a little tougher. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna mark the top of your steering wheel, preferably with a piece of tape, just so that you can see the movement as you're underneath the Jeep adjusting. So we're underneath the Jeep and what you're gonna wanna look for is the drag link. So that's gonna be here specifically. Um, if you don't know how to locate your drag link, there are diagrams online that I found super helpful, but typically it's gonna be directly on top of your tie rod. So again, you're gonna be looking for your drag link and where specifically, this is gonna be it. So all you have to do, guys, is loosen. Again, loosen, I say loosen a lot of times because you do not want to remove the nuts from both of these completely. You wanna loosen it up for the next step, which is turning it either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on what your steering wheel looks like inside obviously so this is why we recommend a two-person job for this so that whoever's inside can tell you when to stop instead of you going back and forth inside the jeep okay and so what we're using to loosen these up so i have a stock drag link um, i believe that this the sizing will be dependent on what drag link you have but anyways i'm going to be using a socket 15 to loosen these um, nuts off and then or loosen them up actually and then we'll go on for the next step So as Marlin's underneath the Jeep uh, spinning what, where I showed you guys, you guys are going to slowly see that the steering wheel is slowly making its way into the desired position. So again, this is why we recommend a two-person job so I can tell him that he either overcorrected or he's in the right spot. Okay, so next and final step basically is you're going to want to make sure that once you're in the desired position, you're going to tighten those nuts back up and then you're actually, we recommend um, going ahead and driving it just to make sure that everything settles as it should and that the steering wheel is in fact where you want it to be. So we're going to go do that. So there you have it guys, a very helpful and short video on how to properly align your steering wheel either before off-roading, after off-roading, or whenever you guys need it. So hopefully you guys liked the shortness of the video and the content, so big thumbs up if you did share with your friends and family, and we will see you next time.